Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The picture shown on screen is the initial screen view when you open a new presentation in PowerPoint 2007. Now the first thing that you should notice is that the PowerPoint screen consists of two windows. There's the outer application window and the inner presentation window. A presentation is the default object in PowerPoint. The presentation window opens up inside of the application window. The presentation window is where you create and modify the slides in your presentations. You may close the presentation window without closing the entire PowerPoint application and this allows you to open and close different presentations without having to restart the program each time. The application window is the outer frame of the program and it consists of the title bar at the top, the ribbon below that, the status bar at the very bottom, and inside of that the presentation window. Now when you close the application window by clicking the X in the upper right corner for example, PowerPoint itself will close, but it will prompt you to save unsaved changes in any open presentations that you were working on before closing. The presentation window appears inside of the application window, and it contains the various views of the individual slides that you compile into your presentation. The slides can contain multiple objects, which you can manipulate in order to change the display of the individual slides. Now we're going to look at objects in both windows. The first object we're going to point out is the new ribbon at the top of the application window. This tool is where you can find all of the tabs, groups, and command buttons available for use within the program. For upgrading users, you'll find that the new ribbon replaces and combines the older menu bar and all of the various toolbars, like your standard toolbar and your formatting toolbar that you used to use. So we'll discuss this tool and other tools in separate lessons within this chapter. You'll also need to familiarize yourself with the new Microsoft Office button that's located in the upper left corner of the application window. Clicking this button allows you to access the most common file functions, such as creating a new document, saving documents, and printing. Now to the right of the Microsoft Office button, and above the ribbon, is the new Quick Access Toolbar. You can easily add buttons to this toolbar for the commands that you use most frequently and wish to always have available. You'll notice several important buttons appear here by default. Save, Undo, and Redo. Now you can also easily remove buttons that you've added to this toolbar as well, and you can add additional buttons that you need. Of course, at the top of the window, you'll see the name of the current presentation that you have open in the title bar. Now, below all of the tools, you have your actual presentation. So the slide inside of the presentation is where you create your actual information and display the content. Most of your actual work in PowerPoint will be done in the slides in the presentation window, often using what we call normal view. Now at the right side of the presentation window, you may see a vertical scroll bar if you have multiple slides in your presentation. You may also see a horizontal scroll bar at the bottom of your presentation if it's wide enough or if you zoom in on the current slide enough. You can use the vertical scroll bar to scroll up and down through your slides and you can use the horizontal scroll bar if shown to scroll left and right across your presentation slides. Speaking of zooming the presentation, you can now easily zoom in to increase the magnification or zoom out to decrease the magnification using the new zoom slider that appears in the lower right corner of the window. Also to the left of that area, you'll see the various presentation view buttons that you can click to switch the view of your presentation as needed. Now that we have an overview of the major on-screen elements, where they're located by default and what they're called, now we should take a look at the general use and functionality of these various on-screen elements within the PowerPoint application. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.